I would just like to emphasize a few points. Um, underlying all this, I would like to know, I am a keen supporter of the social enterprise, and I think we are heading in the right direction that this needs to get there by an acceptable course, which is more successful at the moment. First of all, I'm afraid that I've recently come to the view that the process to date to establish the social enterprise has been characterized by a lack of disclosure. Apparent carers, violators, and prevention's bid, which I was one, were never made aware of the likely consequences to start, which has now become apparent. And if you have been made aware, I'm sure you would have been extremely concerned about the downstream consequences of customers, and they are the most important people in all this. And these pay cuts equally were never mentioned at the meeting in July where Cabinet agreed to award this contract to dimensions. In fact, almost the reverse was true. The underlying theme was that staff would be protected by duty, and clearly that's untrue. And I also wonder whether councillors were aware of the scale of the consequences for staff and for customers of the only service when they decided not to front load the central <coughs> care precinct. So either way, Mr Chairman, we now have a serious problem. I can tell you that staff are very disturbed and anxious. Some have already left, and others are actively planning for their departure from the service. And of course, it tends to be the best members of staff that leave, because they have the self confidence to take the risk of starting up somewhere else. Now, losing staff means a break in continuity for customers. And as we kind of read, continuity is something absolutely essential to the quality of care. So what I'm asking for, Madam Chair, is an urgent reconsideration of a level of funding for the social enterprise. Surely it must be fairer to spread the cost of meeting this deficit across all council taxpayers by a very modest further 1% increase in council tax, rather than transferring the full burden, which I've worked out with uh, over £2,000 per head for current members of staff to fund the deficit, to those Loyal members of staff. Please do something quickly to avert a damaging pay dispute, which will inevitably have serious downstream impact on the vulnerable adults with a learning disability, which the social enterprise is there to support.